everyone, this is Opster Gaming here and today I will be showing you guys how to organize a roles hierarchy on Discord. So at the moment you can see that it's quite a mess here with Opster Gaming YouTube bot, Opster Gaming YouTube role, Opster Gaming YouTube bots, so that would be a second role for that, server booster, me6 and administration. So I would start off by creating a new role here. So I would use hashtag 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 in this one and then have or in fact actually you could call it server bots I'll use a strong colour for it I know like this, now I would put server bots down at the bottom I prefer it's up to you where you prefer it to be now I would go and get all of your bots and put them all under that category you see Opsy Game YouTube bot, I'll be putting this one up under here another one I'll be putting under here so rename that one too for better naming and as you can see that's how I would do that and now I would create another category I would always have one for miscellaneous objects so and I would have that have a nice strong colour and I would always keep this one just above the box and then put anything that you don't really have organized under that one, so like server booster is kind of random, you put that one under there. Now I would click save, always make sure that your changes are saved under there. Another thing I would do is use a basic colour for bots, so just have a standard grey for your bots. So let's use a standard grey under there, make sure that they're all the same colour. So that way it's easier to keep track of. Uh, everyone will always be at the bottom by default, so there's nothing you can do about that one. Hmm. ZV Opsy Gaming YouTube bot. Well, not bot, wall. This is an actual wall on the server, so I will create a new one. I'll put it under, let's say, admin, yeah? Let's do a strong one called, not even, just do it moderation. You can call it moderation. Keep this one strong at the top here. I always like to put this one at the top because it's easier that way. And you can see my main role is at the top. I'm actually going to change this to a red colour for YouTube. Then more of a YouTube kind of red. Like that, yeah, that'll do. Administration here. Up to you what colour you want it to be. You might want to go for a more gold kind of colour. So you could potentially pick on. Now what I normally do whenever I'm properly doing it is I would go and look up proper colours online and get the hex codes for them and put them in. It's completely up to you. Now obviously I've organised the roles that currently exist. Let's say you've got roles for different games so like Clash Royale, Brawl Stars, Clash of Clans. What I would do with that is have games. Now I would put a nice strong colour down there. Now I would keep this one quite high up so that it can be sorted properly, so I'd put it here. Now I would have Clash Royale. Maybe pick the nice blue Clash Royale. I'm not going to look it up now, but I would recommend looking it up to get the proper colour. Put that one under games. Brawl Stars. Just put an orange for it for now. There you go, put that one under there. And put the third game as Clash of Clans. Have a nice yellow colour. There you go, you got your games. Now I'm going to try and think of some more roles that I can do so that I can show you guys a proper hierarchy. What other typical roles would you guys have? Let's say that. Maybe instead of a gaming server, you've got a technology server. So you've got roles for different types of technology. So I'd have a category here, I'd go technology. I'd put it under here. I'll put this one under games. And I'll just keep it simple, I have Xbox. Just give a normal spelling of it, you can. Put it under 
I would recommend trying to keep technology a specific colour potentially I would so I'd m maybe go for a more kind of hmm, what kind of colour could we go for for technology technology go around here well, let's go around there that'll do now if you want to keep your custom colour I would recommend copying this use either use control C or right clicking and copy move this under your technology save it there let's get another piece of technology let's go for playstation you get it there control v which is paste paste in your colour move it over yeah and now let's go and add a third one let's go for pc there you go and now move this one under here so that's how you do it there now you might be asking but what about the empty roll and why do we have empty roles available? Now, you're not going to be assigning these roles to anybody. You're not going to assign somebody the hashtag, hashtag, hashtag games role. Instead, the reason why we have it is to organize the hierarchy properly. So say you've got a server where you have more than one person moderating and giving roles out to members on the server. It'd be easier to moderate this way. So let's say I want to go and give this guy a role on the server. So I go to here, yeah, click on him, say I want to add a role. Now if you look at this, you can see it's organized properly, so I can see all the moderation roles are here, so I can give him one of those. The games here, I could give him one of the games roles, technology, so I can give him a technology role. Miscellaneous, doesn't show server booster because that is limited to literally just server boosters and server bots. You're not really supposed to give out those roles either. I'm not sure what that one is. Let's go take a look at it, shall we? I might actually go. I'm going to delete this one here because we don't need it. And delete us that one. Hmm. But that's how you properly organize your hierarchy. Now, you might be asking, but what if I've got a really big server with much more walls in it, and you want to have a category, well, a subcategory within your category? So, let's show you an example. Let's go. Let's think more games development wise. So maybe you've got a game in the quest. So you'd have virtual. Let's go for VR devices. Go VR. Make it easy. And so you put VR down there. Now under that you want to have your different kinds of VR, so you can have your MetaQuest. I would do it like this, because it makes it easier. I would also pick a certain colour, so maybe you want to go for this kind of darker grey down here, like that. Then you want to have another type, so you could go for, what is it, another, uh, let's go for Apple Vision Pro. Let's go for that. Keep it consistent and the next one that you might want to go for will be oh, who's got another headset HPC is that one let's go with HPC I hope I'm right with that now actually PlayStation VR yeah we'll go with that one PlayStation VR and let's say you want to put that one under there yeah now you can go under technology here, I'll go VR, put these subcategories under it. And now what I would do from here is, I would maybe, under that, put some games. So like, has a perception VR. And now you can pick your own colours well. And you know, games, maybe you want to have a more greeny kind of colour on it. So put your green under there, so you could have it under MetaQuest. Let's pick another one. Blocks on VR. And that is something that you don't do. You create a new wall and then you do it. And now you get that one there. Put that one under MetaQuest. Um, let's think of another. Let's think of another game for MetaQuest. Let's go for Beat Saber. 
be save on VR. Yep, there you go. Now on the PlayStation VR, what have we got? What kind of PlayStation VR games can I think of? Let me quickly look up some on my phone. PlayStation VR games. So, kind of games that we got? I know we got Iron Man VR. I'll go for that. Iron Iron Man VR. Perhaps you want to have some different colours so that you can easily recognise it. I wouldn't recommend it personally because you like to separate your colours, but you can do that if you don't have too many roles. You may go for Iron Man VR there. Let's try and get another game on it. What other? What have we got Batman Arkham VR? Let me go with that. Batman Arkham VR. Go for the same colour to keep it consistent. Mm. And what else have we got on there? The Walking Dead onslaught, we'll go for that. So the Walking Dead Onslaught. There you go. Now you make sure we keep with your consistent colours. Save it there, and now move it under there. So there you go, we got three under there. And now go for Apple Vision Pro. I'm not going to lie, I have no idea what games, or if they even have games on it. So let's go for Apple Vision Pro games. See what they've got. They do have games on them. So what have they got? Yeah, I have ones that cut the rope free. Okay, we'll go with that. So cut the rope free now you might want to have a different colour for this one too so maybe a more kind of bluey kind of colour so you go for that one there move that one under Apple Vision Pro now we can also have Super Fruit Ninja so let's add that one there you go Go for that one. Yeah, that one there. And the next game that we put will be Spire Blast. Never heard of that one. Spire Blast. Yeah, so now we're going to move on under there. And that would be how you would organise your hierarchy if you've got a big server. So you can see we've got the main category, which is VR. Which you can rename it if you want. Virtual reality. Now I would personally recommend trying to keep your titles short. As it's more easy to read. And you see. Main category is virtual reality. And then you got your subcategory. MetaQuest. Apple Vision Pro. PlayStation VR. And under those. You have your games for the specific devices. Now, of course, it doesn't have to be applied just to this. You can apply that to anything you want. Technology, games, movies, education, anything that you want to create a server on. You can apply the same methods to. But this is how I would organise a hierarchy on Discord. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and definitely hit that bell icon for more Discord content. For now, peace out.